let's keep, click on this to see the workflow that we need to use, right? So the first thing you need to do uh, when setting up your software, I will be going over the other things in a moment, but the first thing when you need to, what you need to do if you want to set up your software is to create a company, right? So this is where you'll put in your information about your company, right? You'll put in a name, very important. And then the rest of the information, you can just follow suit. Um, and then also, if you would like a logo on your reports at the end, then you'll just uh, add a logo here. This is the, the, the pixels dimensions um, of that logo that you need to have on this, right? And then also, do you want this to show in the report? Yes or no? That's when I call it. Uh, let's just quickly go here. Uh, the next thing, yeah, we, we want to do is add some employees, all right? So uh, on this employees over here, you will see your employee list on the left-hand side, right? One, two, three, and four uh, that I've already added. If you want to add a new employee from the software side, I will be showing you that as well. And then I'll also be explaining, uh, let's say, for example, you already have your employees on the device and you want to pull that information through on the device. So the first me uh, method um, if you do not have the device yet and you want to add the people to your software, you'll just click on add here. Then this window will uh, clear of all the information that it's already had. Over here, you'll put in a ID, very important. Do not start with zeros, okay? So don't do anything like this. And also no letters and mixed with numbers, okay? So you'll start with number one and then go up from there because some of our devices don't work well with the zeros in the front. Uh, so you'll start with one, two, three, four, and let's go on to that, five. And the next one here, I'm just going to say A, right? That's the first name. Very important to put in a first name because otherwise you will, you will forget who is number five on your system, right? Uh, where does this person work? Do they work in a support, training, sales, etc.? cetera? Uh, in the beginning, you will not have a department to choose from. So you'll first have to create departments if you want to select a different department. But for me, I've already created some departments. So I'm just going to select one here. Let's say, for example, sales. Number A works in sales. When was he hired? He was hired today, or let's say the first of this month, and just leave the salary mode as is. Don't go to wage mode, right? So very important, stay on salary mode. Otherwise, you're reports won't uh, display correctly. Um, then the area is important. This is uh, a way of telling your employees where they can clock in or out, right? So if you select training room, then they can't uh, clock in on the boardroom or the other one over here. So you will need to select the correct one. Okay, so if you just select the training room, then your devices allocated to the other areas, you will not be able to clock in or out on those uh, area. So if you want someone to be able to clock in uh, in training room as well as boardroom, then you'll just select both of them. Okay. The device privilege. Um, over here, you can select what this person can actually do on your devices. If they are employees, then uh, they cannot go into the menu of the device. So employees can't do anything on the device except clock in and clock out. Enrollers, what can enrollers do? They can only enroll new users uh, on the device. Okay, so they can add new people, but they cannot go into the IP settings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The manager as well as the administrator can go into the IP settings, change the uh, IP configurations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So they are uh, basically at the top of the food chain, right? So very important. If you do not have a manager or a administrator on the device, then anyone can go into the menu of that device. Okay, so very important. Please make sure that you have uh, one administrator at least on a device. Position, this is not really important, but uh, you can just select any position there. That's the same as the department. At the bottom, uh, you will see that there is something called PIN. This is the password that they will use on the device if they want to uh, clock in and out. For example, let's say, for example, your device has a PIN a keypad, then they can put in their pin as a method of clocking in and out. So if you put in here yeah, three ones, then they can use three ones on the device uh, to clock in or out. A card number, if you have a card enrollment reader, you can just plug that in and then just place the card on the enrollment reader and then it will just automatically uh, update with your card number. Alternatively, if you know the card number of your card, uh, then you can just 
type that in there and then that will also work okay you will also be able to add fingerprints on this um on your profile by clicking on this fingerprint uh, and then a little window will open up you have the option of either enrolling on a device if you select it on the terminal you'll be able to select a device from the drop down so let's say for example you already have the device added and you'll just be able to choose the device from the dot drop down over here so after you've chosen the device you'll just on this cord uh, to make it connect unfortunately i do not have a device added yet so i won't be able to uh, connect this device but once you've selected it please make sure that you click on connect and then you can just select on a finger and then you can enroll on your fingerprint very important when you enroll a fingerprint please make sure that that fingerprint is in the middle of that square okay so um, because otherwise if you do not enroll your fingerprint correctly then you'll have problems once you want to clock in or out your device will struggle to recognize you so please make sure that the swirl or the swivel should be in the center of that little um, sensor right otherwise if you have a fingerprint enrollment reader it's a little sensor that you plug into your pc uh, you'll just be able to select a fingerprint uh, unfortunately i do not have one uh, plugged in at the moment but in your case if you had one you can just select a fingerprint and then enroll it uh, on your pc side okay so once again just on this uh, if you want to do the terminal uh, on a device, for example, please make sure that that person is already at the device. If they're not there, uh, when you click enroll, uh, then they will have to go back to the device because there's a time limit on this device or on this enrollment. Okay, so if they do not enroll within a certain amount of time, then uh, you'll have that state will then expire. Then you'll just have to do it again. Okay, so that just to spare yourself some trouble, just uh, make sure that that employee is already at the device at that time. The profile photo size, this is just a profile picture. It can be anything as long as it is 200 by 200 pixels and nothing really major over there. And then a private detail, just something that you can uh, maybe look, have a look at. Right, so I'm just gonna save this. And now we have a new employee that works in sales. His name is A, and, and there we go. Right, so let's quickly go to department. I will show you what how to set up departments. On the left-hand side, you will see the hierarchical view um, of our company that we've already created. So underneath ZK Ticker, we have four uh, sub-departments, support, sales, repairs, and then marketing. Underneath support, we have two sub-departments as well as sales and then marketing and then that this is basically the structure of our company we can add a new one over here we can just say uh, repairs let's say internal repairs or let's say external uh, there we go and i'm going to select repairs here to make sure that this repairs external repairs falls underneath repairs. I'm just going to save this and there we go. There we have our sub sub department. Um, it's called external repairs and I've just added it underneath repairs. Okay, so that is basically how you set up your, uh, your hierarchy. You can always delete something or you can just rename it very, very easily. Okay, so the same with positions. I've already created a few positions here, manager, team leader, employee, etc. Um, so over here, let's add a new one here. I'm just going to say boss or CEO. And I'm going to say it's underneath ZK Teco. And I'm going to edit this one. Oh, wait, I can't edit this one. Why can't I edit this one? Oh, I think this one is already. Yes, that's why. Okay, so the reason why I can't edit them is because there is already... Uh, sub departments or sub positions already allocated to them so i'm just going to move this to ceo i'm going to save this and i am going to okay so i think the reason for that is because i have some employees that are added to them as well on this one over here team leader i'm going to move this to ceo save pam holpert ceo save so this can get quite tricky if you've already added someone. 
uh, to something, right? Just going to move everyone to CEO. So you'll be able to move these. Oh, I think someone is still on those. Let's just leave this for now. <clears throat> okay, so you'll see here, we have our hierarchy now. Let's go to the employee. And there we go. We just added some employees. Right, so if I just click back here, I just 